Hello and welcome to a very special video, as there is a free Hero Centurion for anyone that wants it. Yes, this Centurion 9A NCIX version. And you may ask yourself, what is NCIX? Well, that is a computer, hardware, software, distribution company here in Canada, and they have teamed up with Piranha Games in order to uh, do a little bit of a promotion. Give out this mech for free, and there's also a really interesting video that you can watch on their YouTube channel. And if you go to the MechWarrior Online main site here, which I'll alt-tab to, you got the main site, we can scroll down, so you can see NCIX Tech Tips Visit Piranha Games. Click in there, scroll down here, until you get to the Centurion Mech Giveaway. There's this redemption code right here, NCIX Mech. Copy that, and then click here in the gift code redemption portal. And then enter the code here. And click redeem and I'm gonna click it but it's gonna say that I already have the thing because I've already done this so you get your mech you log back in it comes with a mech bay although you unfortunately can't sell the mech so you're, you're stuck with it I mean it's a free hero that's nice but it's not like it's just a free mech bay and a little bit of a sea bill infusion so we have our hero Centurion 9a what are we gonna do with it let's take the bill let's take a look at the build that I came up with it so, this mech has three missile hardpoints in this left torso, and it's a Centurion, meaning that if we look back here in the home page, just so we can see the whole mech again, that center torso is actually very, very, very skinny. It's hard to hit, and, you know, it's pretty easy to uh, twist damage onto the side torsos, and especially these arms, they're pretty much designed to shield, so this mech can be pretty tanky if you want it to. I'm taking that to the extreme with three SRM-6s and a standard 275. We got two medium lasers here in the center torso and then four tons of SRM ammo in the legs. We've maxed out armor basically everywhere except we've taken a bit off of the arms. We get a quirk with the right arm for plus 16, but then we use any leftover tonnage we have to pop up the left arm to 12. Because there actually isn't any armor here. If I drop this down by one point, we can see that there's no armor at all. That's all just quirk bonus. But yeah, we're going to use these SRM-6s as our main punching power. We have the two medium lasers. The standard 275 gives us a massive top speed of 95.8 kph after speed tweak. And a decent amount of ammo to keep us in the battle and kicking ass. We go into our modules here. What would we take? We take advanced seismic sensors. So we can see things around corner. That'll help us in our brawls. Uh, radar deprivation. So if we can get back into cover, we won't have to worry about enemy missiles and we don't have to carry an AMS system. SRM range increase. SRM cooldown increase. Just boosting our SRM 6s as much as we can. And then medium laser range increase. Cooldown uh, cool shots on both consumables here uh, it's up to you uh, another good choice is a uav because you're going to be close so you might want to put up a uav for your team but i'm taking those cool shots just so that when i'm in the fight i absolutely never have to stop shooting and i can just keep kicking ass for as long as i can but that is this mech we're going to do a few matches in this zombie serm striker design and we're going to see how it goes and for the first match of this video, we dropped on to Canyon Network. To the left of it. Now, which way are we going to I go here? We are a short range mech, and this map is decent enough for short range. It all depends on your uh, mobility, your positioning. We enemy is most likely going around to our left far. I'm going to see if I can get around over here real quick and catch anybody before they've gone across. We've got somebody, it seems. Can I get any hits in? Nope, there's nobody here. Anybody around this far side? They still haven't spotted me here, because I haven't heard my radar deprivation go off. And no, they're all moving around. Alright, now this is the question. <gasps> no, seismic, right here! That's why I have the seismics. But yes, there's a seismic right down here. And they've got a blackjack. We're gonna jump in on this blackjack. Wait till he lands so I can get a good shot with my SRMs. 
His legs are low, so we're going to go for that and try to put that down. And he gets taken out. Our first victims. Now, unfortunately, we're a ground pounder, so we need to run around the far side here while my allies, and especially that shadow cat, can uh, jump up and get around much faster than I could. But we have 95.8 kph. We can get anywhere pretty quickly, actually. So we're heading back into the backfield here. We're trying to be that little skirmisher sniper. And, uh, well, not really a sniper, but more of the, the come out of nowhere and put uh, some SRMs up your bunghole sort of thing. I, why did I say that? Oh, that's just weird. And anyway, we're, that Marauder is my next target. He seems to be separated from his team, so we're going to go in there and we're going to try to take him out as fast as we can. He, if he's thinking of anything, he'd be retreating. But yes, he is retreating, but we are going to catch him because we are much faster. He does have a weak leg there, so we're probably going to take that off so he cannot get away. And he's the full large pulse build, and he should overheat during our fight. So I shouldn't have to worry that much about his uh, damage output. But we take off one of his legs, and then we come in and we take off his other leg with the help of our buddy. Now... Where are the enemies? They seem to be all around the center there. Just the sky is littered with UAVs. It is ridiculous. And we're going to be pushing forward. The enemy is pushing around. We need to get into range of our SRMs here. Before we can actually do some good damage. There's a Kodiak 3 pushing forward. We're going to try to get some damage onto him. Unfortunately, the enemies are coming around. Ooh, we get a nice hit onto his back. We need to push out of here. We lost an arm, but who cares? The arm is not necessary for us. Rotate that as we're taking some damage across the back. And continuing to rotate around. What do we got here? Put some SRMs down range. Lose the other arm. That's okay. Arms are expendable. And it does not look good for us for this first match in terms of winning it at least, but we have done some good damage. Put some damage out into that Kodiak 3. Our other mech is going out at the same time. Ooh, we lost a torso, but thankfully it's the torso we don't need. We're down to only our last very, very required components here. And ooh, we took out with those SRM range increase, allowed us to hit those shots and they, as they were way out there. And lead... Oh, it led a tiny bit too much. He slowed down there at the last moment. But it is 8-8. It is the tightest battle ever. Okay, we're going to drop down here and help this guy out with the summoner. See if we can take him out. Our CT is crit, but we should be able to drop the summoner. Yes, we got him. Okay, next is this Viper. He's dropping down to meet me. Got a good hit on him. And he's back there. Come on. I'm probably not going to take him out, but we are doing well here. Ah, we get taken out at the end. But we did some good damage with our medium. We got 519 damage and Drunk Canuck, damn you. <laughs> Let's uh, keck him back. As looks like we're actually going to win this one with our two last guys could take out this Viper. We got our summoner with absolutely no weapons. And then the shadow cat. Oh no, with only a single leg. And he's overheated. Oh, you're walking my way. No. Can we do this? This is the fight of the cripples. Take out that leg. Stop his mobility. Make it easier to shoot him. Take out that leg. Make it easier to shoot Can you do this? Come on, you can do this! There, there's the leg! And we get it! Oh, that was a close game, but good game to our opponents. Ah, excellent. We managed to help out the team, and we still won. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. We got 250,000 Seabills, got that mech bonus, oh, it's so nice. 519 damage, 2 kills, 6 assists. And let's see. Excellent.
Very excellent. On to the next match with this free hero mech. And for our next match, we're back on Canyon Network. It seems I cannot escape the popularity of this map. But, yeah, it's a good map, so we're fine with that. Again, we're going to have to work the terrain in order to get into range for our uh, 297 meter missiles, thanks to that uh, range boosting module. But we can do this. We're on domination. So the enemy have to come to the center at least. We can see them moving around the side. Ah, medium lasers are too far to range. But uh, we shall continue. Continue moving forward at top speed here. Which is the the main benefit of having this XL, not XL, standard 275, is this amazing top speed of 95.8. You could drop the engine down to uh, 250 or 260 or um, a variety of different uh, sizes if you wanted to. And gain a little bit of tonnage back, maybe put on a ballistic. But uh, I find that having the mobility is uh, the most important part. Because you can definitely see in the last match how much damage I tanked before I went down. I literally had nothing left of my mech except my important bits. The bits that still had guns attached. But let us... Moving forward here, we're a bit ahead of the team. So we're not going to push wildly. But we are uh, establishing a presence on this flank. New target acquired. We could, if we wanted to, if we uh, get down here, yes, I don't think anyone, because I didn't hear my radar deprivation, I don't think anyone got a lock on us before we dropped down here. So there's a possibility that we could get onto this Black Widow without him noticing. That would be big. Let's see if we can do that. Let's, because we're, we're, we're way off by ourselves, but we're having fun. Let's see if we can flank this Black Widow at top speed come out of nowhere and take care of their sniper now we're gonna have to expose ourselves to one more section here with the enemy right as we go over this ridge should be fairly in cover where did he go where did he go okay let's head up the back and try to take out that direwolf from the back this is our assassination run on this direwolf. Do, do, do. So exciting. Oh, my heart's pumping. He's not going to expect anything. I'm going to check for UAVs. They're far enough away that it's not going to matter to me. We're going to come around the side. We're going to go. We're going to stick a direwolf's butt. Come on, direwolf. Where are you? You still here? You got to be still here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? He's down there. Jump on him. Get this dire wolf. He hit my arm. Haha, <laughs> that's wasted damage. And I can use my SRMs to uh, wreck his day. And I win. <laughs> oh, there's a shadow cat. Oh, you wish to fight me as well? Oh, oh, I know you're running away. So, our long flank there worked out in the end. We lost our arms, but it does not affect our our battle ability at all. Just a tiny bit of our durability was lost. The entire the team didn't need to follow me down here. I had that dire wolf all by myself. But we're going to get back out of this canyon. As that is a bad position for us. And we need to start seeing where the enemies are again. Now this would be a great position to throw up a UAV if I had one. But I have chosen to be heat efficient. Oh god. Throw at that. Get that guy in the back. Ah, take a couple big hits here. The enemy's right on top of us. Push around this side. Put out some SRMs on this guy. He goes down. Excellent. Focus back onto this side here. We can poke up through the center a little bit. Who can we see? Who can we see? Who can we poke? They won't expect me to come this way. Into the back. As we get some damage onto the Orion 2C. We spread some return. We block some of that return. Oh, good. We take the side off of the Mad Dog, lowering, low, lowering his damage output. We'll come back around this side, throw some more SRMs down range, and back into cover as we spread damage. Back out again, throw some more SRMs down, and again, more SRMs, more missiles, 
as we continue to do damage. The Kodiak is here! He has shut down. We've lost one of our SRMs to a critical hit, which is unfortunate, but we block that damage and oh, we're gonna die to this. Can I get away? Oh, I can get away. That's That was impressive. But the enemies are pushing on us. Does not look good for us. We've lost a medium laser as well. But we have been getting good kills on the opponents. Oh no, MGs, they're gonna wreck me. <gasps> but he shut down. Oh, I got away. Ah, oh, but I got taken out of it. Eventually. I did 601 damage. Let's see how the teams are doing. Ooh, it's close. It's 3v3. Oh, man, all the matches today have been intense. And what do we have? We have an urban mech with two ER larges and three machine guns. We've got a Kodiak 3 with Ultra 5s and Smalls and Meds. And we've got a Storm Crow with a bunch of small lasers and a couple large pulse. With a single enemy left, but his ping is zero. So the guy must be a DC. Yeah, the enemy uh, guy is zero ping, so he must be a DC. So good game to our opponents. And uh, assuming that he's just a DC, let's fast forward to the end of the match. And we win. It just took a few uh, seconds there for the timer to count down and for us to uh, get those points. But here we go. 351,000 C bills with one kill, six assists, and two of those with Kimmel's damage delts and 601 damage done. Excellent. We'll go to the team stats here and we'll head on back to the mech lab. So I, I really enjoy this mech. It's a really good fast medium striker. And what can you complain? It's free hero. And it comes with a free mech bay. Just go out there and enter that code immediately and get it as this loads back in. And you can see there how, how bloody tanky that thing was as well. Like there was no situation where I went down uh, very quickly. It was always I'd lose my my arms and then I'd lose my sides and then I was like barely left alive with just my center torso and one side and legs and then uh, eventually died and uh, That feels so good when you're able to just have those layers of defenses that are being peeled off as you push forward and you're in the thick of the fight and arms and limbs are flying everywhere. It's great. So I highly recommend the mech, and I really enjoy this build. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.